Hey guys, so um, today was good. Today was really long, I'm gonna be honest. Um, I look really pink right now. I don't know why, but like, well I know why my hand is dirty. It's because I was at track earlier and I still haven't washed my hands. <sighs> but um, yeah, today was just really, really long. Um, so in first period today, we were working on doing um, pre-hospital patient, like, ow, motherfucker, um, like, pre-hospital patient, um, papers, I guess, like, um, like, what happened, their chief complaint, pretty much the narrative of it, um, I can't think of what it's called right now, but, yeah, um, and then we were gonna watch an episode of ER and jot down, like, um, what happened in that particular episode to that, to what, whomever the patient was, and, um, try to get as much information as we could just based off of that, because in it you need, like, your vitals, what happened, the name, the age, you want, you want to get as much as information as you possibly can, you want, like, payment method, address, phone number, even on, when we were looking at the pad earlier, it even said social security number, so... Yeah, it's really, really intense, but, um, yeah, but we didn't get to watch it, so we were going over our patient forms from, uh, yesterday when we were working with Kayla and someone else. Um, I took notes for Kayla and Hunter took notes for Kayla. <sighs> and two other people took notes for someone else. And yeah, um, anyway. So pretty much what you do with those notes is you take the important stuff from it, like the age, what happened, um, signs, symptoms, vitals, etc. And you put it into a narrative and you have to tell that narrative to whomever is working at the emergency department within 30 to 60 seconds. So, yeah, um, anyway, then in second period, we just went over projects, which I was really happy with my, with how mine went. It, I thought it looked really, really good, um, but, uh, yeah, um, then in third period we had a pretest for a test we're having tomorrow and overall I actually did pretty decently because I actually know what's going on now like it's probability and statistics which is really easy for me it comes across much easier than doing like log or whatever else we were doing it just like it comes much more naturally so um I'm gonna switch hands here for a sec yeah I'm like disgustingly close I'm um, disgusting to begin with, I mean, anyone that knows me would know that, and I don't mean quite literally, I mean, like, people just think I'm disgusting, but, um, my hair is bothering me, but it's because I just took it out of a bun from track, like, five hours ago, so it's literally been sitting in a bun for, like, not even a tight bun, just, like, a really messy bun just to get it out of the way, but whatever, anyway, um, that's what we did during third. In fourth period, he had me set up a lab, and I had to go make copies of, uh, the cheerleading form for Caitlin. And then in fifth period, we were going over this, um, packet sheet thing. It was an EOC review thing, um, it wasn't too bad. There were a couple, there were, she went over... 10 of 18 questions, so, just ones that we would have trouble with, like, I had a lot, or not just I, but, like, a lot of us had a bunch of trouble with number four, and it was what I thought it was, but what I thought it was, I had marked out at first, so I had to take white out over that, and then write it out again in blue pen, and it just, ugh, ugh, but, um, yeah, and then after school, I had track, 
And I thought Emma was going to go with me because when we were at lunch together, she said, oh, yeah, I'll just go with you to practice or whatever. So I was expecting to see her waiting at my car. No, I walk outside. I see her with Grace in Grace's van. So um, it confused me for a minute, but whatever. Then at track, my back started to act up really, really, really badly. Like... I'd say after maybe 15 throws, and normally I've thrown anywhere from 20 to 50 throws in a day, depending upon what I'm doing. Um, probably after like 15, maybe a little less, my back was so was in so much pain. I was on the verge of crying. So then I gathered up the three six pound balls and the three eight pound balls and my water bottle and my phone and walked all of it, carried all of it with my back screaming at me, um, to the concession stand because that's where, that's where we store everything, the concession stand or the back, but like the shots we keep in the concession stand. <sighs> Probably because we have a store, like we have the main concession area where we have like coolers and then over here is where we would have like crock pots and like hot dogs and stuff. This is the front and then there's a counter back here, that storage, anything behind that storage, to the side and over is storage in the back of the cooler, so. Yeah, uh, came home, then ended up going up to the store, um, asked mom, hey, can we get some, like, pain medicine? Because I can't take normal NSAIDs like, uh, naproxen, because, um, they actually give me intestinal bleeds. Yeah, it's fun having a GI bleed. You know, go to the bathroom, stand up. Literally, looks it looks quite literally like you just put like a whole little thing of food dye in water. It is bright red. And uh, yeah, um, like normally, unless you have a GI bleed, one blood should not be that red. It should not be like cherry red. It should be a darker red. And two. It kind of sucks because you don't know you're bleeding. And especially if you're female, you're thinking, oh god, I'm on my period. But even then, you when you stand up, it's never that bad. Ever. I mean, like, when I get it, like, I'm, I bleed really, really heavily, but it's never that bad. Thing, and I rarely ever get it. So, I mean, the last time I had it was December 10th. So it's been almost three months. But, um, yeah, like, it's just not fun. Because it's usually, like, if you're having a BM, just because generally urinary, it's not too bad. Um, because your urine, if anything, it just gets a little darker. But at least with me, it's just, like, it was horrible. Like, bright, like, like, um, I can't think of any of like, maraschino... I, I honestly can't pronounce it. Like, maraschino cherries, like, how they're bright red, like, that's how red it is. It quite literally looks as if you just dumped a thing of, like, food coloring in there. It's awful. But, um, that's the weird thing, is, like, other than cramps or, like, a stomach ache, you don't really know. Because you're not coughing up blood, you don't taste blood, you don't have a bloody nose, you don't... It's just weird. GI bleeds are weird. They're a bitch... But they're weird. But yeah, like, NSAIDs, like, that's what causes it for me. So, like, I was asking mom, okay, can we get some Aleve or Ibuprofen? And I didn't realize that, um, Aleve was an NSAID. Um, and then Advil is literally <laughs> just, um, Ibuprofen. So, she said, I think we have some at home. So, we've got you covered there. Uh, we got dinner. We came home. Um, I ate dinner because I have to be fasting for 12 hours because I have my endocrinologist appointment tomorrow, which I'm kind of looking forward to just because I feel like I've lost a lot of weight just because I don't even know, like I guess track and just everything, like everything is just pointing to like, I feel like I've lost like, I don't even, like it honestly feels like I've lost like 50 pounds, but obviously I know I haven't lost that much in just a matter of a couple weeks. That would be absurd. <sighs> but, um, yeah. 
anyway, so other than that, I watched Family Guy and I did homework and now I'm vlogging. So, um, yeah. Anyways, I guess I will just talk to you guys later. See ya.